What's up RGC family? So the Kitty Chapter 9 secret ending just launched and I'm going to show you guys how to beat it right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab these scissors and we're going to head inside. Now I like to head inside this way. I just think it's a little bit quicker and it puts us out right near where we need to be to use the scissors to get the purple carpet piece. So let's snip off a piece of this carpet right here. And then what I like to do is I like to go over here to this lock and open it up. Check for the lock pick in this chair and then flip the switch that opens up the green door. So now we're going to go look for the key card and we need the key card so that we can put down this purple piece of carpet. All right, guys, so you're probably noticing we've got these new blue doors on this hallway and the hole on the ceiling right here is filled in with black. So let's hang a left into this room right here. We're looking for the lock pick. It didn't spawn there, but let's open this up and let's go get that blue key card. And then I'll show you the other locations of the lock pick. So let's head around here and we're looking for the blue key card right there. So now we're going to head back out, flip the switch, and make sure the kitty doesn't grab you. So uh, I don't like cutting through this door because, yeah, see, the kitty usually hangs out in there at the beginning of the map. So I'm going to cut through here and shut the door behind me, and hopefully we can lose the kitty. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to drop off this purple piece of carpet, and we're looking to make sure that the kitty didn't follow us. Looks like we're okay. So now we're going to grab the wrench. But be careful not to let that kitty grab you. So I like to uh, look around and flip the switch right here just so I have an easy exit. Uh, but we're going to make our way through here. Up oh, there's the kitty. Slam the door in his face and run, run, run. So now I'm still looking for the lock pick. And the lock pick actually likes to spawn over here behind this bed sometimes. And this is going to be a bit close. Oh, no, guys. Woo. Man, that was really close. Okay, so I'm going to run through here so he can't follow me. Uh, and now we're going to go uh, unlock the crowbar. So let's see if we can make our way through here. Looks like the kitty's not actually asleep. We're going to, oh, oh, he's going to, he's trying to follow us. He's making it difficult in this tutorial. There we go. Okay, we lost him. So, all right, let's open up this door and then we're going to get the crowbar out of this locker right here. So uh, make sure he's not in here. He, he's not. So we're going to grab the crowbar and now we're going to go use the wrench to open up the red door. And I like to get this early, that way we don't need to carry the lockpick with us for the entire duration of the map. So, it looks like the kitty has not followed us. So, let's open up this door and head upstairs. And you don't need the wrench anymore. And let's see, once we make our way into this room here, you won't need the lockpick after we open up these cabinets. Okay, so let's grab this pickaxe and then we'll use the lockpick one final time right here to get our first battery, which we get there. But don't jump down this hole because there's a new piece hidden behind this TV right over here and it's a matchstick that's right a matchstick so let's uh jump down this hole right now and make sure that the kitty's not hanging out in here because sometimes he does and now we're going to run the battery over to the ending area so that we can clear up that inventory slot so let's make sure there's no kitty it looks like we're okay uh, so let's make our way over here to the portal and drop in this battery and now we're going to go grab the diamond now, if you guys are enjoying this tutorial video and want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and mash the bell icon so you get notified anytime we post a new video. All right, so we're going to head in here and we're going to use the pickaxe to get this diamond right here. Now, you can drop the pickaxe because we don't need it anymore, but now we're going to take this diamond uh, and we're going to head out here and it looks like the kitty's found us again. We're going to slam the door in his face and take this over here to the ending area. Now, I like to shut the doors behind me because there's always a good chance that the kitty will turn around if he runs into one of the doors. Okay, so let's cut back through this lab area here, and I'm going to go out the mouse door so I can peek around the corner and see where kitty is. Looks like the coast is clear. Uh, so now I'm going to show you guys what to do with this matchstick. So let's head into this cyan door for the first time, and we're going to head up these steps and open up this door and check this outdoor area out with the stars and the moon. It's looking super cool. All right, so what do we do with the match? Well, it's asking for a gas can. So I know it needs to be used over here somewhere. Ah, wait, what was that? What was that? There it is. Okay, so let's drop the match stick. And it looks like we have a couple more pieces we need to get. So let's check these out. Oh, we have a shovel over here on the left and a mushroom and a tooth maybe. All right, so let's hop downstairs. And I'm going to go this way because it's an easier shortcut. So just drop down through this hole. Uh, and now we're going to go take the crowbar and we're going to go get the rubber glove through the pink door. So head down these steps and hang a right into this area right here for the Gravity Falls water tower. And grab the glove which is tucked in this corner right here. Okay, so now we're going to head back out here. And sometimes the kitty will follow you, so I like to look behind me right there. 
And now we're going to go use the crowbar in the gnome area. So let's cut through here. Let's flip the switch and let's use the crowbar on these planks. Now you can drop the crowbar. You're no longer going to need it. But I like the jump on this gold. Like who doesn't like the jump off a pile of gold? So now we're looking for the gold bar, which is right here. Now you guys may have noticed that this area right here is open. Well, we'll come back to that in a minute as we don't need the pieces just yet. So let's open up the switch right here and we're going to take the gold bar over to this brown hut. We're going to drop down the gold bar and grab the gold key. Now, don't leave this room because right here behind the door is a shovel. That's right, a shovel. So let's take the shovel back inside because I saw it up in the new secret ending item area. Now, I like to go this way so I can grab the vial really quick because that gives us a little bit of a time advantage when we're using that gold key. So now I'm going to cut through here and we'll see. Make sure there's no kitty. So far, so good. Now we're going to go back out here and down the hallway and use the rubber glove and the glass vial. But before we do, let's head back upstairs and let's use the shovel that we just picked up so we can clear up our inventory slot. So head into here and you're going to notice this brown dirt thing right here. So let's see. Let's use this one, two, three times. And look at that, guys. A super awesome dinosaur. Now it looks like we need to use the tweezers or something right here uh, on his mouth. Yeah, to pull a fang, it looks like. So let's head back down this hole as a shortcut. And we're going to use the rubber glove and the glass vial right in here to get our plutonium. I don't know about you guys, but I always get paranoid that the kitty's going to come in here while I'm doing this. So let's open the door. And now we need to head back down the hallway and get the wooden spoon from the grocery store. So again, be sure to use your camera to make sure that the kitty's not hiding around any, any of these corners. Now head into here and on the bottom shelf is the wooden spoon that you need in the golden key room. Now, if you guys are enjoying this tutorial video, be sure to leave me a like as it really helps our channel and our videos do well. So I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, ah, I almost got killed right there, guys. The kitty was standing right there. Okay, so let's make sure, okay, he is following us. So let's quickly get around this corner and let's go use the yellow key. And guys, wow, that was really close. I, I was really lucky. I almost had to re-record this whole video. So here we go. Let's drop the key and we're going to head up here and we're going to use the wooden spoon and the jar of plutonium right here. Now we've got the super cool lightsaber stick of plutonium. And look, guys, we get a new gas can right here. And we saw that on the campfire and the secret ending item area. So let's jump over here and grab the ball. And I'll be careful. I like to look before I jump down there because sometimes the kitty hangs out in this room. Okay, so let's take the uranium stick over here to the ending area, get that item slot freed up. So put this here. All right, and now we're going to head out this way. Make sure there's no kitty. Oh, he is. He's actually right there. Uh, but we're going to go take the ball and get the black tape measure. So let's head through this way and let's hop over this counter and weave our way through here. And don't forget, if the green door's shut, you got to flip the switch on the counter. So now let's use the ball right here. Grab this black tape measure, but don't head back upstairs. We're actually going to wander around here outside and go back to get the items from the gnome area. That's right. I told you guys we'd be going back there. But before you do, you need to get the scissors because we're going to need the scissors again to clip off a piece of a mushroom. So head through this way and give these snowmen a high five on your way and make your way through here and into the area that was previously locked in the regular ending. Now, you'll notice the tweezers right here on the ground. Go ahead and grab those because we are going to need them to pull the fang from the dinosaur. So now make your way around these mushrooms until you find the one with the scissor icon right here. Clip off a piece of that and carry this mushroom with us. And now we've got these pieces that we need uh, to put in the fireplace at the secret ending area. Okay, so let's head back out this way. And I like to uh, cut through this area here and then head off to the left because I find it's a quicker way to get back to where we need to be for the secret ending. So hang on to this mushroom and make your way back upstairs. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop off this black tape measure in the laboratory. So cut through the grocery store, go straight across the hallway. This way you're minimizing the amount of time that the kitty can capture you. So make sure he's not there. Cut across the hallway really quick and drop off this tape measure right here. All right, great. So now we're going to cut back through this laboratory, but I always get nervous. Let's see. All right, coast is clear. Okay, so we're going to use the mouse door again so we can peek around the corner. It looks like we're okay. All 
All right, and now we're gonna head back up through this teal door. Whoop, whoop, I saw the kitty shadow. Run, run, run. Here we go, man. He's really following us today. Let's see. Okay, head back up here. And now we're gonna use these three items that we have. So let's jump, jump, jump. Back into this super cool dinosaur room. And we're gonna use these tweezers to grab a fang from the dinosaur right there. So now let's take these over here to the fireplace area and Okay, so let's use the gas can first. All right, we don't need that anymore. And now we're gonna place the mushroom down here. It looks like there's some weirdness with these icons. Place that there. And then place the fang where these tweezers are. And there we go. Now we've got the secret ending item piece, which looks like a pink powder. Okay, so let's head back downstairs and we need to grab the final battery from the room near the uh, golden key door. So we're gonna hop down here head into this room here and grab the final battery, which is hiding around this corner right there. All right, so flip the switch and head out here. This is a new mouse door, uh, so it should help with escaping if the kitty finds you in that room. So let's head back in here. I don't like the cut in there at the end because I find that the kitty's always waiting for me. So I'm gonna head down this way, make a shorter way in here, make sure he's not there, he's not, great. So let's put the battery down over here at the back of the portal and now that should be everything we need guys to beat the kitty chapter 9 secret ending so let's take this powder in hand over here and flip the switch and check out that kitty chapter 9 secret ending cutscene Oh, guys, let's see if something bad happens. No, it's a party. Look at that. Bill Cipher spinning on his head. That was awesome. All right, let's see if anything else changes here. As we get ready to head back off into the Televerse. So the kitty and the mouse are escaping. And we're heading off to the Magic Friends, guys, for Kitty Chapter 10. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, RGC family. See ya.